Hey guys, welcome to another recipe. It has been a very long time. I've been slacking on my stuff and I'm kicking my ass into gear and I'm gonna start at least getting one to you guys each week. But we're gonna start making some, some shoe pow. This was my first attempt. I'll be sure to make sure I put the ingredients down in the description below because um, it was a little all over the place, but yeah, um, we're gonna have to make the bread first, let it rise, then make the filling, and then, um, make the bread, or, like, finish the bread part and roll them all together, but yeah, so enjoy! So let's begin. Right now we are going to make our um, the yeast for our bread. You want to make sure to check the expiration date on your yeast because I had to redo this because mine was old. And you're going to want to add some sugar to help activate it more. And you know it's not expired if it bubbles and is all frothy. Right? Yeah, I don't know. So we're going to start with our flour, some sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and then just mix it all together. Add our coconut oil. I found this recipe online, so this is not my recipe, it's just something I created. The filling is my own though. And it actually turned out really well. So you want to add all that together, mix it up just so it kind of crumbles, and then add your yeast. Mix it all together, and once it's all combined, there's no more flour, you're going to want to cover it, put it in a dry area for about an hour or so. You want it to be double its size. And then let's work on our filling. So I use jackfruit. Um, it's been sitting in our cabinet for a while. Using a fork didn't work, so use your hands. And then we're gonna also have some black mushrooms and some noodles. I use sweet potato noodles just because I love the texture. And you're just gonna wanna cut them up um, into smaller pieces. And then get your pan out, add some of your um, sesame oil, brown your onions and garlic you want them to be pretty translucent then add your jackfruit and you want to brown your jackfruit hopefully try and get them the edges crispy on them if you can and then add in your mushrooms mix that all up once they've softened a little bit you're gonna want to add your soy sauce and a poison and then I also added some pepper and I opened the wrong side and it just all poured out and I was like you know what we're just going with it and it actually wasn't bad at all and then add your noodles make sure you go easy on the noodles I put way too much but you know what? it was okay it tasted good so next time I make this I am definitely gonna try again this wasn't listed in the ingredients in the beginning, but I ended up putting um, these chest water chestnuts in them. I just love water chestnuts because um, my mom puts it in a lot of things. Well, not really. She puts it in her lumpia, and I've always left it in there. So now that the filling is done, we're taking our dough. We're going to punch it in and pull out all of those um, air bubbles in it. And then we're going to pull it out mix it around and then surf, flour your surface <laughs> and throw your dough on there roll it out and you're gonna want to pull them into probably little balls you know a little bigger than the size of a uh, meatball roll them up and then flatten it out you can do this with a rolling pin or, or anything that you can use as a rolling pin I just didn't because I didn't have anything and I wasn't really thinking 
If it's sticky, just throw it in some flour so you can work with it a little more. Um, I just use my palms and then put the filling in there and pinch all the sides together. And continue to do that until you have um, used up all your dough. I think we made about uh, probably 20 with this and then lay it on top of parchment paper. I didn't have parchment paper so I used um, cupcake fillers, thingies, whatever they are. And once you have that, put them into your steamer. My steamer and my rice cooker um, can be combined as one. So I put it in there and I cooked it for 20 minutes. Once you're 20 minutes over, you're done! And they're delicious, they're yummy. The bread was soft, I loved it. Ryan said I need to add more bread because I guess he likes more bread in his. But look at this, it's so good. Okay, that's the end of this recipe. I go hope you guys love it. I hope you try it. If you do, be sure to tag me on your social medias. Um, if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.